Hello, my name is Raphael Walter, I'm a BI Pre-Sales and I'm going to be showing you in this short uh, presentation uh, SAP Analytics Cloud. So here this is going to be a fake startup called 3 Yard Copy and in this startup what uh, we're basically doing is we're making copies of uh, masterpieces, art masterpieces, paintings because I love painting and uh, basically what we're doing is we're going to do a 3D printing of the brush strokes of the artist and then also 3D printing of the oil, the different successive uh, oil painting layers and uh, here this is the dashboard for this startup so uh, that I've imagined. So here on the left hand side we have an RSS feed, we have the number of failures uh, on the production, here the number of failures uh, in the year, so this is by domain, number of failures, average uh, time uh, machines were stopped and in total time the percentage. So immediately uh, this dashboard should give me information uh, I can see here if I wanted to look at painting, this is where we have the most uh, issues. Uh, you immediately see that we have an issue here in Sandouville. Uh, this is an outlier compared to the rest. So in the numbers of, uh, of breakdowns we had and the number of time. So basically uh, this means that Sandouville a maintenance team is probably having a really hard time they are unable to cope with this we'll have to dig into this and understand but immediately I see this outlier and if I wanted I could go back and immediately uh, again I see Sandouville as an issue also for 3D printing and for uh, um, um, the canvas so this means that Sandouville really has an issue I really need to increase the maintenance team you could also drill down using hierarchies so if I wanted to drill on painting then I would identify the different domains after painting in the hierarchy so uh, like uh, laying a varnish or uh, after after painting brush uh, brushed mediums etc this is where we have also lots of issues for example so uh, Another nice feature here is you see if we uh, go back into and we drill back up, you see here that we have a problem in the num in the strokes and the failures we had uh, on the 1st of March. We have a spike here, and of course you can go and put a comments here. I see that we had I have identified a problem. It was a filament that one of a supplier gave us, and it caused a problem in all the maintenance production sites. Of course, we integrate also with uh, uh, S3, and you can have maps uh, showing you information. You could drill into uh, the different zones, and this really big dot is actually Sandoville. It's really huge compared to the others. And uh, so the idea is just to show you how you would perform an analysis. And here you have the explanation of why Sandoville is having so much uh, problems and issues. This is because it has twice uh, the most number of machines. Uh, so if I wanted to verify this information, I could go and modify this. And basically uh, going from uh, visualization, I could insert a graph. And I'm going to insert the graph here at the bottom. Then what you need to do is here, this is a I'm conceptor, and I can basically go here, select a model. So if I want to select this model, it could be any model, a model in the cloud or data on-prem. You choose a, a graph. So here I have an histogram. I could choose any kind of graph. These are all the graphs that are available. Uh, I could have a pie chart. And what I want to do is basically I want to add a measure. I Here I will add the number of 3D printers and the number of uh, and the place of uh, creation and now all I need to do is look at the five top so I'm gonna go here five top and I see that indeed we have a lot of uh, printers in Sandoville which is 117 compared to the others that have only half as much of course what you could do is you could imagine going from here I see that I have uh, an issue with Villauban. They have almost the same uh, going back into uh, view mode and uh, stop being conceptor of this. You would just simply uh, click here and remove the conceptor site. So here I see that I have issues with uh, Villauban and uh, I could go and try. I have the same number of issues, but uh, they have a lot more costs. So I could go and try to understand why this is an issue. And as you can see, it filters out 
and I see the, the flow of uh, my material coming. The next page is basically seeing as what the last we have. And once again, I could go here and add filters or remove filters. And also in terms of performance. So this information shows us uh, the performance and the salary that is given. So basically, uh, Sandouville, which is my main production site, has high salary but also very good performance and I could also look at those this information looking at production for example production has very low uh, performance score and I could go and go from this page to the next page uh, filtering out using uh, all this information looking and seeing in Choisy le Roi we have a very high performance for production and maybe try to call Choisy le Roi and understand why they are 233 and uh, why uh, in Le Mans it's so low. Okay, and uh, the next uh, the next dashboard is simply uh, a dashboard where I I would copy everything, all the information, maybe use them. So my biggest sales would be Van Gogh or Vermeer, and uh, then Da Vinci, Klimt, and Picasso, for example. But here I see the delays in days. So as I said, I'm going to be showing you planning. And the delays in days, uh, I see, uh, please try to understand this figure. So I'm going to go and uh, go again into modify mode. And I'm going to go and try to view my data. So what I'm trying to see is the, uh, the delays I have, the delay in days. And if I look at the departure town, once again, I see that we have lots of delays in Villeurbanne. So what we do usually here is we can use the predictive power of ICP Analytics Cloud. I want to understand the delay in days. And what I want to do is I could execute, I could run it now. Or I'm going to say I want to exclude uh, some of those values, the segment or uh, arrival town, order priority, ship mode, the artist, the itinerary, the product container. I don't, I don't care about that. A departure region, product name, OK. And once you're finished uh, selecting, so this is my target, uh, the excluded uh, columns. And you can run using predictive power of SAP Analytics Cloud. And it's going to create a model. And this model will be applied. So basically here, you can see that the first uh, problem we have is with uh, the supplier, the itinerary, the order priority, the month. So if I clicked on any of these, I would see that December, November, October, we have a tendency to have more delays in days. Okay, basically we are at 3.07, but for those last year of the month, uh, last uh, month of the year, sorry, uh, we're we're losing and we have an average of delays that's quite high. And you can actually go here and select uh, also a different information and see that uh, for some canvas we have. Uh, we take more time than others, okay? So maybe this is due to the complexity of those canvas, okay? So basically, you can uh, choose any any kind of analysis and see uh, the differences between uh, the products. And again, the quality of this uh, model is indicated here. So it's four out of five. And it's discovered that 10 dimensions were actually quite interesting and it found 10 uh, unexpected uh, values. So this is really something that is actually quite uh, interesting. And once you've created this model, you can basically uh, use it and integrate it uh, in uh, existing uh, Canvas. So basically, if we are uh, shipping from uh, Villeurbanne to Massy, then we have a huge uh, increase in our delay in days. Uh, whereas all the others are 251 and Bordeaux, Massy or Nantes, Massy is at 289. So basically it has done the aggregation and it's uh, combined this and we have really an outlier here for this. So you can always use this and what's also interesting is you can do also a simulation. So you could see uh, outliers. So if we wanted to see this, we could see the predicted values and the real values. So I could try to understand. So for this Botticelli from Flynn, uh, we had a problem. And uh, I want to understand why we have such a huge difference in days, uh, more than two days uh, for Sandouville, for Klimt, etc., etc. So those are the um, invalid values between what was predicted and what was uh, seen in reality. So going from three days predicted to five days. I need to understand in July.
and then you can do a simulation. So if we go here, uh, we choose a specific uh, supplier, the criticality, and this is going to be for an auto portrait, or if I want to uh, go for uh, persistence de la mémoire, uh, you could go here, and then you would see how long uh, do a simulation of, of the delays would have. Once again, what's interesting is you can go here and you can add uh, all those results and you could copy to a new page or an existing page. Okay, so, so now to finish, I'm going to be showing you the planning capabilities of all this. So this is a value-driven tree. Uh, as you see here, this is the final net profit. Uh, net profit uh, comes from the net profit and maybe as we're working with China, uh, the currency rate between euro and yuan, the revenue, cost of goods sold, and uh, growth, number of shops, and revenue per shop, etc., and marketing growth. As you can see here, I'm planning on opening four new shops. And maybe uh, since we're going to open four new shops, maybe I should also increase the marketing budget. Uh, maybe uh, this is going to be uh, other operating expense. I'm going to be increasing this to 5%. And uh, all those values that I've changed now, uh, as you see, we had the budget in 2016, sorry. And uh, I'm going to be uh, running the calculation now. So to run this calculation after I've modified all uh, the values here, as you can see, all the boxes with yellow are actually can be modified. Uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to be able to run my calculation. So if I go here, I'm going to be able to run this budget. Okay. So once I've done this cal uh, this uh, cal uh, calculation here, it's going to fill all the information here, and it's filling for the year 2017, 6, 18, 19, and 20. But uh, what's also interesting is it's uh, just in this click it's actually created more than 1 million rows. So this is, um, if I go down and drill down into all the different values of the driven tree, it's actually all those values have been calculated for me. So in just one click, uh, I've done the predictive planning with my budget uh, through the dashboard. So this was the end of uh, this presentation, uh, just to show you. So we, uh, I wanted to show you the uh, analytics power of uh, analytics cloud uh, and also we were able to do an analysis on the delaying days using the predictive power of an uh, SAP analytics cloud and of course I finished by showing you a very short demonstration of what you could do with planning in terms of planning with a value driven tree uh, we have the budget and we're trying to calculate our budget very simply like this thank you very much for your attention